when I was 18 then, um, the idea of going overseas was very attractive. Because I'd never been overseas, yeah. <laughs> aside from Malaysia, yeah. aside from Malaysia. <laughs> so when the chance came, when the chance came for a PSC scholarship, I just grabbed it. It was almost like two, I had two separate experiences. My first two years, I was exposed to a whole range of different things I could study, right? I took music, I took sports. There was a guitar performance class, yes, I did that. All right, um, and then I did a class on the history of rock and roll. I did a class on symphony, so it's, it's quite fun, right? I, I started playing the guitar at the age of eight. I learned through my dad's friend. I didn't take formal lessons. Then I think somewhere in my second year, I remember talking to someone senior about to graduate in econs. And he said to me, you know, I'm going to graduate in economics and I really don't know anything about economics. And I was thinking to myself, gosh, I, I could very well end up like that. So I sort of, in my second, the uh, remaining two years, yeah. sort of um, started taking the subjects I was doing more seriously. But it, I also started getting an interest in it. Whether it's macroeconomics, right, understanding fiscal monetary policies, that's one. Um, second, even understanding the Singapore economy, because I, I was struck, there was one class I remember and they were talking about development economics and somebody talked about this, the Singapore model and they, and they said, oh, there's a Singaporean in the class, why don't you tell ask what, how Singapore did it? And I had no answer. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I mean, I was yeah. fresh, you know, I didn't read up on Singapore's development model at that time. And that, again, another wake-up call struck me. I, I, I need to know. I, I'm going to graduate Econs. And I don't know about Singapore's economic uh, experience. So, so I, I had to do that. And then thirdly, um, I got a lot into just um, quantitative modelling. And I really went deep into it. And that's why my first job when I came back was as an economist in MTI. And that's exactly what I worked on. I think the commission, when I came back, interviewed me and said, well, first of all, they looked at my transcript and they asked me, why did you do all these funny causes? So I said, this was the first two years. After that, I did these, these course classes and, and then they, they thought I could, you know, I suppose they thought the, the, what I had done fitted very nicely with the work in MTI, and so I was a quantitative economist. I was running all the economic models, doing GDP forecasting, that sort of thing. I would say the, the university experience is probably one of the best learning experiences that any person can have. Sure, learning must continue for life, but you will rarely, rarely ever find another occasion where you will set aside four years of your life in, in that kind of a environment, learning immersed in a learning environment.